Hey, welcome back to Ozian Talks, and this is my series called The Stupid Shit That Creationists Say. The second law of thermodynamics says that everything tends toward disorder, making evolutionary development impossible. Why that's a stupid statement. The second law of thermodynamics says no such thing. It says that heat will not spontaneously flow from a colder body to a warmer one, or equivalently, that total entropy, a measure of useful energy in a closed system, will not decrease. This does not prevent increasing order because the Earth is not a closed system. Sunlight with low entropy shines on it and heat with higher entropy radiates off. This flow of energy and the change in entropy that accompanies it can and will power local decreases in entropy on Earth. Entropy is not the same as disorder. Sometimes the two correspond, but Sometimes order increases as entropy increases. Entropy can even be used to produce order, such as in the sorting of molecules by sod. Even in a closed system, pockets of lower entropy can form if they are offset by increased entropy elsewhere in the system. Quick rebuttal, order from disorder happens on Earth all the time. Another reason why their claim is stupid the only process necessary for evolution to occur are reproduction, heritable variation, and selection. All of these are seen to happen all the time, so, obviously, no physical laws are preventing them. In fact, connections between evolution and entropy have been studied in depth, and never to the detriment of evolution. Several scientists have proposed that evolution and the origin of life is driven by entropy. Some see the information content of organisms subject to diversification according to the second law. So organisms diversify to fill empty niches much as a gas expands to fill an empty container. Others propose that highly ordered complex systems emerge and evolve to dissipate energy more efficiently. Third reason why their statement is stupid, stupid claims deserve good responses. Creationists themselves admit that increasing order is possible. They introduce fictional exceptions to the law to account for it. And a final response to their stupid claim. Creationists themselves make claims that directly contradict their claims about the second law of thermodynamics, such as hydrological sorting of fossils during the great global flood. Why this is a bad argument for theists. They treat it as if it's a true dichotomy between creation or evolution. They'll say evolution must be by random chance, but that is far from the truth. Evolution does not disprove theism. It just disproves certain God claims. It would be better if they tried to include evolution into their worldview because evolution is a fact. It is true. You'd have to change the entire world and what we know about biology and science to disprove evolution as a fact. The theory of evolution still needs some work, but it is the best knowledge that we have about how life formed on planet Earth. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy defines evolution as follows. Evolution in its contemporary meaning in biology typically refers to the changes in the proportions of biological types in a population over time. Douglas Futuma gives a more expansive definition. Biological evolution is a change in the properties of groups of organisms over the course of generations. It embraces everything from slight changes in the proportions of different forms of a gene within population to the alterations that led from the earliest organisms to dinosaurs, bees, oaks, and human. John Endler's definition is similar in this respect. Evolution may be defined as any net directional change or any cumulative change in the characteristics of organisms or populations over many generations. In other words, descent with modification. 
It explicitly includes the origin as well as the spread of alleles, variants, trait values, or character states. I am no expert in evolution or biology, but neither are these theists who make such claims. An expert in evolutionary biology requires a bachelor's degree in biology. Then it's recommended that you get three to five years of real world experience before you pursue a master's degree in biology, especially on the subject of evolution. The experts in the field also pursue their PhD and write papers and do research on the subject. And they're much more informed than we are. And those are the people we should go to for knowledge about evolution, to understand evolution. And we should not expect to have the same level of knowledge as they do without going through the same formal rigorous training that they did. So these theists are just stupid and ignorant, and we are too for even engaging in these topics. We don't know anything about the topic. The most we can do is appeal to the authorities on the topic, and that is the proper response. You shouldn't appeal to theologians for knowledge about evolution or biology. I put time and effort into each one of these videos, so I hope you can show your appreciation by liking below, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel if you aren't already, and hit that notification bell so you can be informed when I upload new content, which I'm trying to do at least daily, so you'll get some content from me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Have a good day, good week, good year, good decade. Goodbye. Please like share, and subscribe to Ozean Talks for more of this content.